Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're heading into Point Hope on Professional. So this time, I'm not going in with my tier 3 flashlight again, I'm going to try just the headlight. I'm going in with this tier 3 thermometer, and maybe, like the old days, I'm going to find the cold room before I find the interaction. Because this map, so many things start out of place. That's why the first thing I want to do is book it to this breaker, which is, I think, on the floor right above this in the game room. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this breaker on, and then I do need to spend some time letting the place warm up. But I want to use some of this tier 3 equipment, so I'm going to see if I can get a cold room if I don't get any interactions first. Okay, here we are. So like I said, I'm going to go down to the first floor and just kind of hang out. Maybe get some kind of interaction down here, and if I don't get anything, maybe the room will already be cold up there. But even though the breaker's on, I am in the dark. See, it's going to be cold in every room, so... This doesn't really determine that it's the ghost room yet. But no mirror. Okay, I didn't even look for any cursed items either. There's not one on this floor. And my little hiding spot I've been using is not there. I mean, I remember we have had a ghost in here a couple times. So maybe we'll get a room we haven't had. We really haven't had a ghost down here that much. No, it is warming up. Okay, I guess I can turn on a light or two. It is nice to know if there's any hiding spots out front here. Yeah, that one's good enough. Alright. I don't think it's been long enough for the house to warm up. We have the tarot cards. Uh, no, that's a remote. I always see that remote. kind of want to turn on this TV. Oh, see? I need to have a ghost down here. Alright, I'm going to give it a little bit more time. I think I heard my own footstep again. I'm kind of just standing near the light. I thought I heard something get banged on, but I think it's just this map. Since there's nothing down here, let me check out the second floor. And it's above 10. So I think, I don't know these amounts are sure, but if, I think if it's under 10, it's potentially the ghost room. But I think it's windy, so again, I really need to learn these amounts. But if it's well over 10, I think it's not cold enough to be the ghost room. Okay, maybe at this point, this will be a good... Oh god, I'm getting lag spikes too. There's under 10... Is anyone in here? Oh god, going down to seven. Now if it's under five, that's where I'm really gonna think it's the ghost room. No, it's going back up. So if there's no one in here, hello? Give us a sign. Yeah, okay. I think it's gonna be under five. Stupid glass again. No, I don't want to turn on too many lights. I think I have three on. I'm gonna try and remember, but I doubt I'm gonna be able to. What about this floor? The thing is, I have my headlight on, it's not too good on this map because these rooms are so big. The headlight's good for like small maps where you have tiny rooms, but each map, well as you, as you go up further the rooms get smaller, but down here it's not too useful. Okay, once again, no cold and no first item. On to the next floor then. Now please, we don't need another ghost in here. From what I remember, the hallway needs to be lit up. Oh, and forked. Okay, maybe you are in here again. I saw all these, and I bet this is the ghost knocking them off the wall. Unless these do start here, because I really don't know where things start. But are we really dealing with another ghost in here? I guess so. Are you here? Give us a sign. It's not freezing. And everything kind of looks like it's in place. Doors closed. Oh man, it went to 1.9. This is definitely the ghost room. But all these, I think these get knocked off the wall or something. Well, maybe we're dealing with a shade here. Who is this ghost name? Sandra, oops, Sandra Barton. Give us a sign. Actually, let me have my EMF at this point. Sandra, please, where are you? Maybe you're just roaming out of here right now. Yeah, scan one more time. Mm. Let's see if we find her up here. I think I'm at six lights, so I really need to be careful. It's that creaking. See, it's super warm. Alright, I want to check up here again. I didn't turn on that light. 
I think I'm getting close to that breaker breaking. So is this going to be the monkey paw then? Okay, I have a hiding spot up here if I need to get to it. So upstairs or downstairs is going to be an escape route. Now, what do we have the monkey paw? Okay, what am I missing then? Oh, maybe it's... Oh, God. I either missed it or don't even know what I'm looking for. Okay, I don't even want to go up that far because there's no reason to. Okay, am I losing my mind? I have a track record of, like, seeing the cursed item and then forgetting what it was. Oh my... What is going on with my light? <laughs> Stupid game's tricking me to think I'm getting hunted. Are you down here? Have you done anything? Stupid foghorns. Wow, are we really dealing with the worst shade in the world again? Because I swear I just had a shade that was like this. More flashy lights, but that may mean you're nearby. So... If I don't... I think we're good. I think I have like two or three more lights. I think I'm six or seven. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go back, but... I didn't really miss the... I'm gonna go look for the cursed item again. What else could it have been? Oh, it is the mirror. <laughs> See, I I think it's over here. Uh, okay, well, someone saw me do that. And I happened to notice these in here. I think I've known about these, but if you see these out of place, then you know the ghost is nearby. Well, I guess I could get a photo of this, but I don't really need to use it. I'm going to drag it up here. I don't know why. Maybe at some point I'll force a hunt. God damn it. My light. Why does it do that? This I got to drop that. I hate the noise it's making. I wanted a free photo. Now this ghost, oh my god. It's a good thing I, I did the thermometer trick because it's not interacted at all. I needed the thermometer to find this stupid ghost. Okay, finally you do something, but I don't have the UV for fingerprints, but I guess that's good enough. Well, we know this is your room. And it's been long enough that it should be freezing, so... I think I'm gonna go ahead and rule out free freezing. Now you're being interactive. I'm not worried about UV. I'll get salt in here for that. Mm. If it's not freezing, though, it doesn't seem like a shade. It could have just roamed away. I don't know where it's been doing stuff. Sorry, I'm just looking at this shampoo now. <laughs> Strawberry shampoo. Anyway, I think I'm finally going to go back and get more equipment. Because this ghost, man. I wanted a different room, but here we are again in here. You know, it's funny. On my last... Point Hope video, I got a comment saying they hate Point Hope. So, I don't know, I'm kind of going back and forth with it. After playing a bit more of Sunny Meadows Restricted, I do feel like this map is smaller, but, I don't know, dealing with these floors is weird, so we'll see what happens with this ghost, I guess. Oh my god, though, look at my sanity, it's a stupid map. Even when I have all the lights on, my sanity goes down the drain. So, Firelight, Photo, and Crucifix. Let's just... I don't know. Let's bring the Crucifix. Maybe I'll get lucky with the photo of the ghost, and then, I don't know, we'll only like, maybe like one evidence. So should I, I don't know. Should I do firelight? Firelight candle, and then this. We'll do evidence first, or uh, objective first for a change, and then I'll just bring in, well, I guess I won't even bring in this, and let's just bring in this, since this ghost is being weird, and since we're playing professional, let's just have fun and try and not use the evidence right away. Okay, so then on my way back here, I'm probably going to be definitely in hunt range. So this is another one of those ghosts. A long time ago, it felt like a very common thing was that ghosts would just n do nothing until you were in hunt range, and then they just hunt you. Now, that hasn't happened too much lately, I feel, but this ghost, this is, <laughs> I don't think it's draining my sanity. It's more point hope that's draining the sanity, but I just remember in classic Phasmophobia, that would happen a lot, where you'd get a ghost that just does nothing until you're in hunt range, and then it'll hunt you. Oh man, this will cover, oh wow, this will cover like the whole floor. So let's cover that wall as much as I can. And then I gotta turn around and I'm gonna place it about the same spot just so I see how far it goes out there. And it does go out the door. We'll put a candle there. Could it be an Onryo? Actually, no, if it's not freezing, it couldn't be. The only thing I have in here is this. I'm gonna keep that freezing ruled out. Oh, I thought I saw smoke, but I would have heard the blowout. Give us a sign, Sandra. I really need a photo of you. God, I know ghosts are random and some are more active and less active, so it just sucks to get a ghost that's not a shade and acting like one. Okay. 
Well, there's an interaction. That has to be an event somehow. Right? Yeah, because it was right on top of the crucifix. But it didn't close the door, that's why... Or did it close the door? Oh, it did a... Oh, maybe it... When it does a ghost event, it's supposed to slam the door shut. So it did the ghost event out here, so it didn't close the door. And that's why I thought it was a hunt. Wait, did you break the light? I didn't hear the light break. And I guess we're turning that candle back on. And just turn it on, not light it. I guess I'm keeping the smudge on me for safety, because now you're starting to drain sanity. I'm going to get hunted. Oh, thank you for the DP. I'm going to just get hunted here. I have a smudge. See if we can play like a little no evidence or only one evidence. Well, no EMF5 and no freezing. So those are the only th two things I'm actually looking for right now, and we haven't gotten them yet. Sandra, give us a sign, even though you kind of are doing stuff right now. That's the thing. Getting... I don't have to, but smudging the ghost and escaping during a hunt's weird, because you got to, like, catch them when they're already coming down the stairs. And it's hard to, like, drag them down the stairs. Well, maybe my sanity is giving me... Or this candle's keeping my sanity a little bit. Oh! I was about to ask for a sign. I should be taking photos of this crap. kind of forget I need to be doing that. I'm like this door. I've missed a lot of photo opportunities, haven't I? Listen, I'm here for fun. At least I'm professional. Sometimes I forget about the photos. But in the end, it's really easy to farm photos in this game right now. Yeah, like that's gonna help. Okay, wait a minute. Did you just... I'm gonna take another photo, because there should be a burned crucifix. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna use up this crucifix. Oh, well, there go all my lights that were on. Oh, wait. Damn it. Oh, I do. Oh, but is that gonna be a three star? Oh, my poor EMF is going crazy here. You just drained my. Oh, wow, I got really close. You just drained my sanity for me. What was that? Oh, were you. You were going nuts now. I know you wanna hunt me again. You were really letting me farm these autos, too. I don't, I'm not gonna try. I want it. Is there a hiding spot right here? It's probably about to use that crucifix up. I don't wanna run, but let me hit this light. I know I can hide. I know I can hide behind there, but I'm gonna try and go upstairs in the pirate room and hide in that area. So this should be two more photos. About that ghost photo, I didn't even look. Three star ghost photo. Okay. I, <laughs> no more photos, see? I went from losing photos to getting way too many. I'm not worried about the bone or a perfect game. I wanna get hunted and just see if I can figure out what this ghost is. I'm playing this as like a no evidence okay it sounds normal speed if I could smudge it oh my god okay now I'm gonna smudge damn it should I have smudged sooner I don't I think I lost her I don't even think well if she goes through the smudge then she'll roam I don't even know I think I lost her going up the stairs that's the weird thing about point hope is if you book it up the stairs you actually break a line of sight I think well, I, I don't think she even was, like, following me that far up here. See, I don't even hear her. Stupid crawly bitch. Okay. There's no light here for me to turn on. Oh my god, that's so cool. I can see the lighthouse going. I think we're good. Yes. So, the only thing we determined is it's probably normal speed. Didn't seem to speed up at me. I should have smudged down here. I think that was the floor I was on to begin with. Okay, ghost. I guess I'm gonna go get more equipment. See if I can get out of here, actually, before you hunt again. But going up there seems to be the better idea. But I do think I broke line of sight, so I kind of learned something there. If you just keep running up the stairs, you I think you really do easily break line of sight. I mean, it makes sense that you would, because you're literally turning a corner and they can't see you anymore. It just seems... This map is so weird. It's not... I don't think this is a bad map, I just think it's a very unique map for this game. Okay, Sanity's gonna be zero, probably. Or 16. Oh my god, Firelight Photo and Crucifix, though. So... Perfect board. But, guess what? We don't even know what the ghost is. 
But we know it's normal speed. It broke out its light, so maybe it's a mare again. What would mare be? Let's just bring in the stuff for mare, because that's what my gut instinct is. Where's mare? Mare, mare. That was one of the first ones, so it should be over here. Spirit box, orb, and writing. Let's go in with that, then. Oh my god, I'm realizing I'm not going in with a smudge, though. Then... Let's drop this stuff at the door. Because I have no sanity. I don't want to take sanity, but I want to go in with a smudge. So, I will leave two of those... Well, hmm. What three things can I bring in? I guess I need UV and then this too. Hmm. I want more smudge up, more than one smudge up there, and actually having another crucifix would help. Alright, I decided I'm just gonna take the salt and the UV, throw it at the door. I'm gonna go up there with one smudge stick, and if I get hunted again, I'll try and escape after the hunt. The idea, I'm gonna leave this stuff here. But what am I gonna go up with? I guess writing. I was about to say, there's no way you touch that door all the way down here. Well, I'll let you go through. See, this is why I need to go up there with more stuff. So in reality, while you hunt, I'm going to play around in the dark. I guess I don't need to be in the dark. This is such a strange thing to be doing right now. So I'm trying to keep all my stuff organized. I'm going to go get another crucifix and more smudges and bring them in and prioritize that. I'm going to get another crucifix in the room and get more smudges. And I'm, I know I'm not taking my sanity, and I don't want to, because I, I really want to experience playing with, like, no sanity even more, so. You done yet? Oh my god, you actually are. Okay, let's bring in more, the, I only have one more crucifix, but I also want the two more smudges, so. I'd like to go up there with smudges and crucifixes first, so maybe I'll only bring in one evidence. Okay, I kind of screwed myself there. I'm going to take this, there's one more smudge down here. And I'm going to take the ghost orbs and look for ghost orbs, I guess. It really doesn't matter. It could be anything. But I need to get these up here. I'm doing this in a weird way, but one more trip should get three other items back up here. I'm still not even using my main flashlight. The main thing is, though, I could smudge it and get some more time. All I want to do is get this up here and see if I have the time to get the ghost orbs, though. Here we go. Here we go. I put it dead center. Okay. Well, that gives me a second to look for ghost orbs. And look, we do get the ghost orbs, so I guess right. Okay, I'm going to then... Do I... Yes, I dropped the smudge up here. I'm going to run. So now we have a little bit more time. I'm going to try and get the other evidence up here. But since we know, it's ghost orb. Oh my god, doesn't seem like Raiju. We had electricity in the room when it hunted, so I don't think it's a Raiju. Since it was just normal speed, I believe, I'm not even going to guess. I'm just going to keep bringing stuff up there. So since, huh. Do I have the slots? Yeah, okay, then just bring it up here. And we'll just leave the other two stuff here. Now, I could smudge this time, but I do have, uh, if the other crucifix hasn't been burned up completely, I might have one more charge in the crucifix. But if not, I can use one of my smudges to smudge, and then I'll have a backup if I get hunted. And I'm just booking it up these stairs. Okay. So much for that. Okay, yeah, these, this is the one I was looking for. Nice wine boxes. Well, I guess that's what I'm gonna wanna do. I wish you were kinda near here so I could hear if you were done hunting. Please tell me you weren't, like, doing a... event. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he would have done an event that far away from me. Okay, I think we have some time here. Actually, we're not even that far away from the room. Oh, that's a billiard ball that got way over here. Okay, now, what do you think about this? I think you did use up the crucifixes. So here, get smudged, hopefully, if you're on this floor. The other smudge... I left down there, so I'm screwed. Uh, we have that. Now, spirit box. Are you here? The room's light is off. Oh my god, it's slows again. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? You gotta force it out of them sometimes. I think it's a mare. Oh, it could be a yokai, though. But remember, it broke its light out. What other would it be riding? Oh my god, it would be riding. It's not gonna be UV. We have not had dots in here the whole time. 
I don't think it's going to be freezing after all this. I mean, it can't even be. The only other thing I can get up here is dots. Okay, so it's either going to be ghost writing. So then, okay, good. We can leave the ghost writing in here. I'm going to book it again. So we'll see if it writes by the time I come back. We'll get the dots. And then I have more smudges. I think there's two more I can use. There's one in the truck and then one here. Okay, see, we have one smudge here. We got the salt, which we don't even need. Okay, it actually let me out. So, I don't know why I'm, like, refusing to take sanity this game. Again, I just... I think recently I had a game where I spent... I think it was this map where I spent time in there with no sanity. And we're kind of doing it again, exactly, ironically. But it's just fun to play with no sanity to get, you know used to having the chance of being hunted and also using up those screws of X this is terrifying but okay one more smudge and really there's nothing else for me here oh yeah the dots mm, should I just bring in the two of them man we don't I'm gonna have to just smudge and I got two of them so what will okay yeah I'll just go up there with the two smudges and then one dots And <laughs> as soon as I get in here, so uh, let's hide in the nice little lighthouse. Oh god, and turn off that light of my own. Holy crap, spiral into death here. Let me spin and oh my god, I knew that would work. <laughs> Optical illusions, okay. So <laughs> I guess I gotta survive one more hunt here. But actually, if I play this right, I hear footsteps. I don't, I'm too scared, I don't want to leave. I can't believe she's coming all the way down here. Okay, wait. There's a little bit of a grace period after a hunt, so if I can get in there and smudge before you start hunting again. Now again, I think if... It, the, I know the ghost will not detect my light if it's on a different floor, so I can leave it on until it comes down here. I think it's a mare, because the mare is more likely to break out your light. Okay, I got two smudges on me get smudged and you did right I, I, I knew it didn't seem like a yokai not that I how would a yokai even act really if you were chatty you would be mad as hell that's how okay whoa one more thing you had to throw at me you threw that from over here to over there and then back over here all right we know this is a mare I, this is a successful run I can set this up anyway I have one more smudge stick I did just smudge but let's have fun here. Sandra, what was it? Was it Sandra? Sandra Barton. Sandra Barton, give us a sign. Again, let's just... Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes I like just experimenting with a ghost, and I feel like this is a perfect opportunity to, because I, I, we keep coming back to Point Hope every week, and I want to have a different ghost here, so let's try and experience running up and down the stairs, maybe. Let's turn on some lights. Maybe I'll take it downstairs this time. Because I can smudge up here and then run downstairs. Oh god, there's not a lot of light right there, is there? I'm going to smudge up here and then run down underneath these stairs. So please give me enough time to do this. I did just smudge, so maybe I have a second before it hunts again. And I want to survive smudging on point hope again. And dots are going through the wall. I hear you throwing stuff up there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my light. Let's see if I can lure it downstairs. This is what's weird. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and smudge. No, no, the, the damn, the damn door, no. I knew that thing was gonna get me killed one day. I just didn't know it would be this soon. I, I, I forgot that thing was even on that level. Oh my god, they intentionally did that. But hey, the ghost was kind of stupid and didn't even see me come down the stairs, so... And I shouldn't be insulting the ghost, but... Alright, there we go. We... It's weird to do that, but it is terrifying to try and, like, sit on the staircase, because they're not gonna see you. If I'm down here, she's not gonna see me, so I... In order to get her to come down here, I gotta sit on the stairs. But alright, and there's another visit to Point Home. I'm gonna get out here if you don't start hunting again. But I, I have fun on this map. I don't think it's a bad map, but... I really thought it was going to be designed differently. Like, I thought there would be a bigger emphasis on this room. Like, if you look at lighthouses, not all of them, but a lot of them have m much more of a building like this that you'd live in, 
Like imagine like Tanglewood and then there's a lighthouse connected to it. That's basically what I thought this map was going to be. Like a unique map like this, because this doesn't look like the interior of Tanglewood, right? Like this still looks like a unique map, but it is still kind of a house map, isn't it? So I expected more stuff like this. And then like you just have a couple layers on the, with the main staircase in there. But how they did this map is really, I don't even know if different. Just not really what I was thinking. Like when I think of lighthouses, there's usually a staircase in the dead center going up. And there is once you get all the way up there. But the way they did the staircase was it go wrapping around the whole building. So I'm just, I don't know about lighthouses, but I'm sure there's a... What did I just run through? That was a weird noise. Didn't I just hear something? But I'm sure there are lighthouses. Maybe it was this slamming shot and that's what I heard. But I'm sure there are real lighthouses that are like that. So it's just really strange how this map ended up working in this game. And of course I had to get hunted one last time. I don't, I'm not too worried about hiding in here. All right, I guess I'm gonna survive this hunt and then, and then get out of here. Oh, hey, see, it's still a small map and I never used the cursed item, which, oh yeah, it was the mirror because I went by it. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't need it in the end. And hey, it's funny how I started this one out using the thermometer and we needed it. So it wasn't a shade, it was just so boring at the beginning. All right, let's see what we get here. I feel like I've been getting mares lately too. That was the another mare recently. I hope. Yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna skip again. 1400. It's still pretty good. I mean, I, you get some dailies, but those don't get multiplied. Actually, I got three dailies. See, I never really even look at the dailies because I usually get them from playing the game anyway. But out of curiosity, I guess. So, yeah, Mayor doesn't have abilities. 197 interactions. No one the bone was somewhere in the games room. See, I wasn't really even looking for it. Sometimes I don't really even care about it. I mean, we still got 1400, but perfect game I don't think would have added too much more. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.